I do regret that Michael ever got caught between my family and Sonny. I appreciate where that kid is, and I respect that I also grew up with a maniacal son of a bitch for a father, as did Claudia. Sorry if I don't have much sympathy for the woman who shot one of my kids and tried to steal another. I just wish that you would try to believe me when I say that Claudia never meant any harm to come to Michael. And the guilt from that shooting was one of the things that actually pushed her over the edge. What I believe is that if it hadn't been Claudia, it would have been someone else. Because Sonny's life is no place for a child. No argument here. I have no doubt that Sonny loves Michael. But the problem with Sonny loving you is it's all about Sonny. See, he has this talent to say all the right things and to make you believe that the world revolves around you. And then when it stops and he moves on, leaving you wondering what happened. How did I fall from grace so fast and so far? And while your whole world is crashing around you, you're wondering how I let him down. He did that to you. Many times. Sonny only wants what he can't have. Yeah. Well, what about you and Jax, huh? From where I've been sitting, it seems like you two got a pretty good thing going. Yep, I screwed that up. <laughs> I'm not just the president of that club. I'm all about my kids. And if someone hurts them, they're gonna have to answer for it. Do you blame your sister for that botched hit that caused Michael so much pain and suffering. With an accident. That bullet was meant for Sonny. Knowing that doesn't change the fact that I want to hurt the people who hurt my son. I mean, after everything that Michael's been through, he walked into that courtroom and he confessed so Sonny wouldn't have to go to prison. And now he's being pushed aside for a man who's sworn to take Sonny down? It's wrong. You're, you're preaching to the choir here. I thought I could change Sonny. Or at least make it safe to be with him, but I was wrong, and I see that now. Men like you and Sonny, you're beautiful, dangerous, and you're not long for this world. Wish somebody else could get to the place you're in. It's a sad, sorry place. Someone said that to me once. That hurts. Truth always does, right? Well, I don't know, as opposed to lies? Hmm? Someone tells you they're gonna accept you for who you are, and next thing you know, they're turning around trying to save you from yourself. I have no interest in saving you. I need to talk about... We're kind of in the middle of something. Maybe you can come back later. Hell, I will. Why don't we start with you getting your ass off John's hey, couch? Geez. Excuse me? You heard what I said. I'm happy right here, thank oh, you. Yeah. Well, well, hey, 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 you two are supposed to be friends. Oh. Friends? Yeah, friends. I went to this friend. I asked her to help me find Michael, and she watched her son put my boy in prison. Oh, uh, Michael was in Pentonville for how long was it? A month? Because Dante got him out. St. Dante? Yeah, what does St. Dante think about you screwing Johnny? None of your damn business. <laughs> I know you pretty well wrecked your marriage. Nice work on that one. So why don't you go jump in Sonny's bed for the nine millionth time? Uh -oh. Maybe he'll have have you? Okay, whoa, enough. All right, both of you. I'm ending this round right now. Fighters to your respective oh, corners. opposite corners, my ass. John, if you are stupid enough to fall for whatever crap this woman is trying to sell you, then honest to God, you can have the run of this place. And when you're ready to get the ass kicking you got coming, you just let me Any know. place, anytime. Oh, I'm friend. already there. Great. What the hell was that? Why did you let Olivia believe you and I hook it up? She deserves to suffer just like her pathetic son. What? Where are you? That's none of your business. Are you seriously with Johnny Sakar? Car. I see you walking my way like you